Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I am going to show you how to take automatic backups of your Udo databases. So to do this I recommend, there are many uh, many other apps but I recommend this one. The Udo Auto Backup by, I don't know this guy's name. So it has app available for almost all the versions of Udo. So currently I am using the Udo 13 version so I am going to be downloading this one by the way I've already downloaded it so you can navigate through these branches and download the one the version that you need I have already downloaded it and placed it in my Udo add-ons folder as you can see this is the path to my add-ons and there's the auto backup add-on so once you've added the add-on you need to restart the Udo server by issuing the command sudo Udo service restart but I am not going to do it since I have already added it and installed it so I am going to show you how to configure it now so once you have added the module you need to come to, uh, you need to go to the settings and it, by the way you first you need to install the app so uh, it is going to show up here if it doesn't you, you can just simply search it for here and that's the one it's in, already installed with me so I will go out of here and then once it is installed I will go to the settings and then in, activate the developer mode so once the developer mode is activated I am going to go to the conf uh, sorry is the developer mode activated? yes I will go to the settings yes so then I will go to the technical menu and uh, you are going to see uh, you are going to see what actions uh, database structure now there there it is backup the configure uh, configure backups and uh, there's the yes the, the schedule action so first we are going to check out the configure backups okay so I have created this entry let's see this is where the app is running so by default let's leave it at that and next you need to specify the name of the database which you want to backup so this is the database which I want to backup next is the port so let's leave it at 69 and the type of compression the type of backup so by default I would recommend that it's I recommend that you leave it at zip since you will be recover, restoring it with the uh, zip format so Mm, that's fine and next you need to specify the backup directory this is the directory in which the backup will be kept locally so this is this directory should be on the server on which the Uru is running so my for example this is my server and the Uru is running here so as you can see this is the directory and this directory have all the backups locally next you need uh, by the way auto remove backup yes check this since these backups will keep on coming and ultimately consume all the disk space so you need to remove them after some number of days so five is a decent number of days next we need to move these databases to a proper data store server so they can be archived there and in case if we ever need it retrieve it from the server so here you need to specify the external sftp server ip address and since it's, it is SFTP, so we will specify the port 22. Next, the username of that server and the password. And next, the directory that is that is going to contain all the backups. And uh, in case if you want to remove the backups after a certain number of days, so in my case it's almost 300 days since I want to keep the backups for as long as possible. And uh, if in case the backup fails you want to get notified so specify the email address here so let's see if our configuration is correct by testing them okay so the configuration have succeeded okay so now once you are done with this save them okay now let's go back to the technical and schedule the actions okay so I have there it is so I have scheduled it for one day so this is going to run after every single day 
you can name your action backup scheduler is a pretty simple one i recommend that the setting you see on your screen you leave it at this by specifying the model as backup configuration model record and action to do execute python code and uh, schedule user leave it at as system and then how many after how many days you want to execute this uh, backup so i will leave it at one day and the next this is going to show you the next execution date so as you can see by the way the number of calls if minus one this means it is going to be called repeatedly this means it is going to run indefinitely so that's that save it if you wish to you can run it manually for the first time and then it will keep on running on this specified date so this is mm, the local database database that it's keeping and so as you can see the databases are being dumped here so that's it for now if you need any further information leave, uh, leave a comment and i will see if i can answer it so till then subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video